So, you want to learn SQL. Well, in this video, I'm going to run through how I learned SQL in just two weeks, which helped me land an entry level data science job. Let's get into it. I started off by taking two courses, W3 Schools and Tutorials Points. These two courses are completely free and I think are fantastic as they give you a rundown of all the syntax functions that you need to know to become a proficient user of SQL. One thing that I did is that I made sure I tackled every single exercise problem along the course. This built my understanding and solidified my intuition of the concepts. So I really recommend you do the same if you decide to take these two courses. Also, another thing I did is that if there was something in the course didn't explain that well, I would seek kind of alternative explanations out there on the internet. So I'll simply just Google these functions or these syntaxes and I basically read through, you know, various web pages, Stack Overflow, and that would kind of, you know, make my understanding a lot better because I was getting explanations from different sources. And to me, that's a really good way to learn. Overall, it took me about a couple of days to complete each course, but I was working on it full time all day, which is a luxury that I appreciate some people may not have. In hindsight, I didn't need to take both of those courses because there's quite a lot of overlap. So just one would have been sufficient in my case. After those two courses, I then took the complete SQL bootcamp by Jose Padilla on Udemy. Now, this is a paid course and it's currently priced at 50 pounds, but Udemy often runs promotions and discounts. So depending when or if you take this course, you may find it slightly cheaper than it is currently advertised. Now, the reason I took this course, even though I already completed the W3 schools and tutorials point, is that this complete SQL bootcamp course covers the whole infrastructure and ecosystem around SQL. For example, it taught me how to download SQL locally on my machine and set up a server to run my data. These were things that were not covered in the W3 Schools nor Tutorials Point course. They were very much more closed environment systems, getting you familiar with SQL syntax, which is great for a beginner, but I also want to understand how to build the whole infrastructure around SQL, which is something that's very useful in my current job. This Udemy course also covered some other functions that were not covered in the previous two courses. So it allowed me to further solidify my understanding and also learn some more advanced topics in SQL. This course has about nine hours of learning and teaching material, but it took me about three days to fully complete. I worked through it quite slowly because I really wanted to gain the main intuition behind the topics. I'm sure if I was a lot more productive and just smarter, I probably could have done it in a day, but you know, you can't have it all. So after all that learning and from my previous experience in studying for technical topics, I knew it's all about the practice. It's not so much about learning the stuff, but basically how much practice you're willing to put in. As the famous saying from Naval Ravikant goes, it's not 10,000 hours, it's 10,000 iterations. In other words, you have to put the reps in to get good at something. So that's exactly what I did. And I spent the next few days going through loads of problems on SQL on HackerRank. For those of you unfamiliar, HackerRank is basically like a coding challenges platform, very similar to LeetCode. And the reason I chose HackerRank is that because a lot of the interviews for data science that I was applying for at the time used HackerRank as some of the initial screening stages of the interview process. However, in reality, it doesn't really matter too much. Just choose a platform that you like. The main point is you get real hands-on experience with SQL problems that you haven't seen before. In total, it took me about 50 questions before I became comfortable and felt pretty proficient in being able to answer those basic slash intermediate SQL questions that would get in most of my data science interviews. Obviously, this number will vary between people. For some, it will be higher and for some, it will be lower. The main point is don't focus on the number of questions you answer, just keep on going until you find that you build that intuition and you feel pretty comfortable in answering most of the beginner slash intermediate questions. And that's that, that's my SQL journey. In total, it took me about two weeks, but I'm sure I could have done it quicker, like I said, if I was more productive and just in general really smarter. Now I want to move on to giving some advice that I wish I had at the beginning and also advice that I think really benefited me when I was learning SQL. The first one is that make sure you learn just enough, then immediately start working on problems. Learn all the basics of the functions and syntax, 
then dive into solving actual problems on hacker rank, lead code, just anything that gives you hands on experience. The second one is that make sure you take your time and really understand things like joins, common expression tables, and window functions. Many people find these quite challenging, but they're probably the most valuable in real life scenarios. The third one is that don't spend hours trying to solve a problem. Give yourself a time frame to solve it, and if you can't do it within that limit, just look at the hints or the solution. The main point is, don't just copy and paste the solution into the answer without understanding exactly what's going on, because then you're not learning anything. And the final point is something that I mentioned before, is that don't rush through the courses. Take your time to really understand the concepts. It's not a race. The whole point is that you go slow now so that you can go fast later. Because you've built a solid foundation, you don't need to revisit it all the time later on. I want to stress again that you can't master SQL in just two weeks. The point of this video is to show how you can become proficient enough that you can answer those basic interview questions you may get for that data science or data analyst role that you're applying for. If you are specifically interested in becoming a data scientist, then Python is a must know language. I have these two videos, which I've linked on screen here, that I'll walk through the exact Python knowledge you need and how you can go about learning it. So if that sounds interesting, make sure you check them out. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click the like button and I'll see you in the next one.